Good morning. It's June 16th, 2013 on Madeline Island. I'm making this to document the shoreline from a little north of 3419 Big Bay Road to a little bit before the intersection of Big Bay Road and Schoolhouse Road on Madeline Island. As again I said earlier, I'm starting a little bit north of 3419 Big Bay Road. You can see there's a nice piece of sand here. Normally in the years past um, there hasn't been quite as much sand. It kind of ebbs and flows as, of course, the shoreline is dynamic. And this year they seem to have a little bit more uh, sand than usual. Ahead you're going to see a dock. And you can see that there has been a little bit of cutout for flow through of water. A couple places. But you can see on the south side of the dock here, there's like a little arc of sand that's been taken out. A little bit of um, sand starvation on this side. It'll be more evident once I get on the dock to see the difference. You can see this shoreline along here is is pretty darn um, level with very little slope. Now as we get closer to the dock, you can see a little bit of a ridge of sand where some wave action has taken out the sand, but it's only about six inches, maybe a foot down here closer to the dock. And this dock is a fairly small dock. Nothing like the dock that's near adjacent to our property owned by Phil Myers, which is a large pier, L-shaped with no real uh, cutouts for flow through of water and sand. As you can see on the north side of the dock there is accumulation of sand and we come to the south side there's starvation with a little arc and a little, a little bit of um, erosion down there. Nothing too horrific. Again big big expanse of beautiful sand beach here on Mallon Island especially on this side where the sand is accumulated. There's been a lot of rain this spring, and there's a culvert down here where runoff is, comes into the lake. And you can see at times that it, there's probably been, water's been flowing pretty heavily because there's a ledge also probably stemming from the water coming into the lake and maybe a little bit closer to the dock. You have waves have been coming up also next to this very small dock. Most of the dock, of course, is on the land with just a small little piece that's poking out into the water. Again, there's evidence of more sand on this side with, again, that arc of sand loss on the other side. Big, flat expanse of beach here. No evidence of erosion from any storms this spring at all. You can see it's flat, gentle slope to the water. We're walking north here towards our property, which used to have a slope very similar t to the slope that you'll see past these next two little um, docks. Well, there's, there's a little uh, remnants of a crib. And by this crib, of course, right to the south, you'll see how the waves have come up and eaten away at the sand here and that is just a small little crib remnant and then again on this side there's more sand accumulation with loss on that si side you see that little bit of erosion teeny bit that's probably only about four inches and here we come up to another dock that's pretty much on land and what's out, left out in the water, the, the water and sand is probably flowing pretty decently through that. Here we're coming up to a beautiful piece of stretch of sand here and this is what our beach look, used to look like. Very, very, very similar to this. 
Um, I'd say the slope was almost identical to it. We maybe had a little bit more of a dune up closer to the to the cabin, but the actual beach itself looked like this stretch of beach. Lovely, lovely beach. We can easily just walk right down to the water. We actually launched a, a boat from our property, a little aluminum boat. We just I'll show you when I get when we get closer. I'll show you where we used to the boat and where we used to launch it. It's a long stretch. Again, there are real no docks really close to this or piers. You can see one in the far far ahead here, probably about 100 yards or so away. And even from here you can see with that small dock, I'll pause here for a moment, you can see kind of the cutout of sand to the south of it. Not much though, That's a, that dock has got a big cut through that allows you know, water and sand to travel, to flow. But even, even with the part that's sticking out there, the solid part, you do see like a little arc of lots of sand. Again, the beach, I'm going to go back again and show you. The beach there looks very, very similar to the one that we used to have. And we have lots of pictures to document that. Now, you can see that there's really no evidence here at all of any storm activity this spring along this beach. So there's no, no evidence that there's been huge waves that have come up and disrupted the shore. In fact, there's seagrass growing down here, and you see grass. Once again, here is where water, there's water coming in. So you see a little bit of water action there where it's kind of carved the sand a little bit. We're coming up on another little dock that I alluded to before. It's got that cut out there. Once again, nice flat expanse of sand. No erosion here. As we get closer to the dock, you can see that the waves have been coming closer to land and, and just taken a little bit. It's come up a little bit onto the dune here. And um, there's been just a small ridge of erosion here. And here's the dock. And again, another piece of shoreline that looks remarkably like ours used to here. Gentle slope to the water, nice expanse with seagrass. No signs of erosion. No signs of erosion from any any storm that we had this spring. Beautiful morning here. Gorgeous. Bunch of geese out there. Again, no erosion, no signs of storm damage. This gentleman um, that owns this property across the street, he has boats on this side that he launches, like small aluminum boats, and he actually um, sometimes launches larger boats, speed boats, because it is that flat got a little launch area right over here where he backs his trailer up and can um, take his boat into the sand that slopes gently down to the water. We're coming up to um, Crone's rental property here. He rents this out. Crone is a gentleman on the island and he has a, a groin coming out into the water that's created a, a little hook in, hook in the shoreline here too.
kind of a little bit, a little ridge of erosion on this side too. But again, this is a very small little, little outcropping into the water. But again, he's got a little bit of erosion. Again, that's probably oh about eight inches there. Walk up and over here. On the other side of the groin, beautiful expanse of sand. No signs of erosion of any storm that came through this spring or winter. Nice expanse of sand. In the distance, you can see Phil Meyer's dock. It's actually a, a pier, which is very, very large and actually um, has an L formation. There's no real way for any water to flow through. We're probably that's probably about a couple hundred yards down and as we walk closer to that pier you're going to see the devastating effects that that pier has had on our property at 3619 big bay road here you can see that these dunes have not been eaten away by erosion you can see the seagrass here new seagrass along here with no erosion and then you can start seeing the effects of the pier that's sticking out that we've seen all along with smaller piers you can start seeing that right along here there has been some new loss of, um, of the dune but not too terribly much we're coming up on Drew Switzer's property here and you're going to see that she's going to feel some of the effects of the pier. And as we approach the pier, it worsens and worsens. A little ledge of sand here taken away. Now, Drew has always had a much bigger ridge than we have, but of course, this is, um, you know, accentuated this year a little bit. It's always been a little bit higher dune than we've had. But again, you can see that now it's a little bit harder of what's probably about two feet, two and a half, three feet of ridge. As we get closer here, we're coming up to um, our property. Between Drew Switzer's property and our property, there's a small little piece of land owned by the McGill family on the island. They've also been contacted and one of the McGills has come out and been shocked about the property. And also, they have also noticed their loss of shoreline over the years. He commented on that. He was unaware of littoral drift. Okay, here we're coming up on our property. And you can see there's severe, severe devastation. We've lost tons of land. This used to be a beach, as I commented, that looked just like the beaches that I, I showed you earlier. There's this pier. You can see the arc where sand has been starved, been eroded and been taken away by the wave action. You can see the horrendous, horrendous erosion here. Where we used to have a flat walk to the beach is now an a cliff that's not negotiable. Navig I mean, we, can't, we can't deal with it. We can't access the beach from our property at 3691 Big Bay Road. Now I want to come up here and show you the little keep outside that, that piece of wood. We used to have a winch on there and we used to launch our boat into the water. You can see our boat the aqua boat up there, the little aluminum boat. We used to pull our boat in and out of the water here because it was a, a beach that we could easily pull it in and out because it was just a gentle slope, like the beach I've shown before. Had to take a shovel to try and get down to the water and I, it would take a fit person. It's a pretty, pretty steep little spot here. And again, we're coming up to the Myers Pier 
Now, nowhere along have you seen any damage like this. And if there was a storm severe enough to cause this, certainly there would have been evidence of storm damage all along this shoreline. There's no question that wave action did cause the damage, but it's, it's the underlying underlying, co underlying factor that the, the sand has been changed, the distribution because of this pier, and that's why even small amount of waves are going to damage our property. Here we're on the Myers Pier now, and you can see on the north side there's accumulation, and on the south side there's extreme starvation and damage. Now Mr. Myers has a wide expanse of sand here and no evidence of any storm damage from this spring. You can see as we walk along that there is a ridge, but that he's always had a ridge here. This is nothing new. There's always been a ridge of, of um, kind of a dune. And you can see that there's lots of new vegetation here. So no water has come up and, you know, done any damage. You can see the seagrass, the new seagrass growing in to the side. And again, vegetation, new vegetation all along here. Again, you can see that there's really no Nowhere can you see that anything has come up to damage his, his property this year. In the past, you know, I'm sure there have been some bad storms that he's had some erosion, but now there possibly may have been some erosion this year right along here, but yet it's probably attributed to, attributed to this little bit of outcropping here, the remnants of the crib. There's also a cement, a little cement slab there, and you can see the arc nature. So any, any damage, which I really don't really see, it's really questionable, that last little bit, if that's even attributed to anything this year. And here we're getting nearing the end of where I'm filming. Again, little outcropping. You can see that there's also in water coming in and you can see to the south of this little outcropping they also suffered quite a bit of erosion. There's always been quite a big ledge there. And on the other side, here's the cement, a little outcropping, and again with the rocks. On the other side, of course, a lovely long beach with no erosion from the spring or winter. So once again, if there was a storm that came through that was responsible for the damage on our property, we should be seeing damage all along the shoreline. I could walk another probably, oh gosh, mile along this and you'd see the same thing. A shoreline that is, you know, undisturbed by any storms. So there's no question that waves did cause the erosion. But the waves themselves did not have to be that large even to cause the erosion to our property. The waves are actually today on a beautiful, beautiful morning. The waves are just very gentle. And the water is actually really close to the cliff that we have on our property. So, if it, you know, even with a minimal amount of wind and wave action, we're going to be losing more and more property. So it's not, it's not a storm, not the effect of a storm, but the effect of the sand deposition and the disturbance of the littoral drift that's caused our trouble, which is caused by the Mr. Myers Pier.